Second Ezra 15, verse 6, and it reads, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, I will hold my tongue no more, Salak, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Brakathi Yahweh, Brakathi Yahushai. Brakathi Yahweh, Brakathi Yahushai. Brakathi Yahweh, Brakathi Yahushai. Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone, who teach one rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, pushing this truth. The hopeful of that. At risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwith listening, listening and learning, Shalom. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, the title of this lesson, Babylon the Great, America the Great, spiritual Sodom, will be burned. Right? It's going to be melted. And uh, based on this uh, video clip I, uh, I, I saw on, on, on uh, New York Post, right? Wickedness, man. Filthy abomination. We'll peep it. And then Adawan, Rataza. Really attach some scripture. This place is wicked, man. It's gonna be burned. So it's been Seven. kind of a crazy year, and it's been really a fun ride to have you in my life. So I just want to know. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this happening? Did you guys know this was? No. The Most High is going to burn this place, right? They're applauding, they're clapping. It was it was a festive, <sighs> man. They were festive. Everyone was happy. Second Ezra fifteen verse six. Once again, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Wickedness, man. The whole earth is polluted with wickedness, Abom abominations. Filthy conversation, abominable acts, right? The whole earth is polluted, and their hurtful works are fulfilled, right? And all they do is these abominable acts, fulfilled, hurt, fulfilled hurtful works, right? They just continue on in it, man with man, woman with woman, right? Not, 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 not observing the law, statute, and commandments, defiling the earth. Therefore, saith Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. The Most High is not going to hold. The Most High is about to let loose judgment on this planet, man. Which they profanely commit, right? No shame. No embarrassment. They're not hiding. Straight out in the open, man. A man proposing to a man with an engagement ring. Profanely commit. Straight. They're not even hiding. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. Right. The vexation of spirit. Those sighing and crying. That's the elect. Vexed with the filthy com uh, uh, conversations. That, that's the elect. In the spirit world and, and here in the physical. And the souls of the just complain continually. Right. Continue complaining to the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Right? Verse 9. And therefore saith Yahweh, I will surely avenge him and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Right? So the Most High is going to melt this place and redeem his elect. Right? It's nothing but wickedness, man. You know what I mean? And, uh, and, 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 listen, I, I, I saw that clip and I, I got vexed, man. I was angry. Genesis 13, verse 13. And it reads, But the men of Sodom were wicked. And sinners before the Lord exceedingly, right? Exceedingly, right? Sodom and the men of Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah, ancient world. Were wicked and sinners before Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Exceedingly.
Strong's H, 3966. Me'od. 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 In the Hebrew. Much. <laughs> Muchness, abundance. Right? Much, abundance, right? And, and that's what that's what's taking place in this world today, man. It's not even it's not even a frowned upon, right? There, well, there's certain corners in the in in the in the, in the earth where uh, you know people hunt them out and stuff like that. But uh, it's not even it's not even uh, it's not even frowned upon, right? It's it's everywhere everywhere you turn, everywhere you turn. Second Peter, and that's why the Most High Yahweh Shimei Shai is coming to burn this place, man. Second Peter two verse five, and it reads, "And spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person." Right. So the Most High is going to melt this place. The second death, the first death was the first death was a flood, and he saved Noah, and 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 his and his three sons and their wives, right? A preacher of righteousness, right? He was preaching. I believe it was one hundred and ten years, if I'm not mistaken. He was preaching, and he was scoffed at and laughed at. Bringing the flood upon the world of the ungodly, right? And the flood came and and uh, wiped out wiped out everybody except Noah and his three sons and their wives. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, right? And the Mosai wiped out Sodom and Gomorrah, making them an example unto those that are after should live ungodly. And that's an example of how he's going to come. And deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Right. The Mosai w w wiped out uh, Sodom and Gomorrah with fire and brimstone, man. Right. Why? Because, l listen, that, that's where the word sodomy comes from, man. Sodom and Gomorrah. Because men were laying with men. And women with women. And going after strange flesh. Genesis 19, verse 24. And it reads. Then the Lord, all caps, Yahweh. Rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Right, the 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 the, the, the brimstone and fire in the ancient world came out of heaven, man, and laid waste. Right, Jude, 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 verse seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, right? They're worshiping false gods. They're sacrificing to idols. They're going after strange flesh, right? Going after each other, lust burning, a man's lust burning after man, woman's lust burning after woman, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, right? The Most High, Yahweh B'Shem Shai, through his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to come, with those ICBMs and those la and those laser beams from the chariots, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, and melt Babylon the Great, America the Great, Isaiah sixty six verse fifteen, and it reads and the, and, the, and it reads, for behold the Lord, Yahweh, will come with fire. Right, and what's that fire going to be? The ICBM missiles. And the laser beams from the chariots, what the world even calls UFOs. And with his chariots like a whirlwind, right, that's those UFOs, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, right, that destroying wind. This is, this is the future of Babylon the Great. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, plead with all flesh. He's going to judge all flesh. He's going to murder. He, listen, it's the elect alone going to be delivered out of it. Right, and those and those elite Edomites that survived, they're the first. They're the first round of slavery. Right, those elite, those elite, those elite Edomites that are hiding in the bunkers, and running up to the space stations, and hiding in under underwater hideouts, they're the first round of slavery. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, plead with all flesh. He's going to judge all flesh, man. Everybody, and the slain of the Lord. Yahweh Shem Shai shall be many, right? This, this is not this is not this 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 doesn't this doesn't say he's coming with love and hugs and smiles. 
right? Amos, the eyes of the Lord on a sinful kingdom. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh is seeing all of this, man. Great judgment is coming, right? Two thirds of our people are going to get judged. The wicked are going to get judged. The heathen are going to get judged. All this wickedness is going to get judged, man. Amos 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh power, are upon the sinful kingdom. And what is the sinful kingdom? Babylon the Great, America the Great, this whole planet. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, right? Babylon the Great, America the Great is going to be laid waste, become a desert, a place for fowls and dragons, right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, right? The elect, the remnant, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the elect. The elect will be the governing body when the kingdom of Israel is established under Yahweh Shai. Let's close out. Just touching on this wickedness, man. Isaiah 13. Verse 19, and it reads, And Babylon, Salak, you know what? I want to get one, one scripture before we go here, before we close out. Leviticus 18, verse 22. And it reads, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Right. Abomination. Let's look up this word abomination. Strong's H, 8441. To'eva. To'eva. In the Hebrew. A disgusting thing. Abomination. Abominable. Right. This is disgusting to the most high, man. In ethical sense of wickedness, right? This is disgusting to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? Man shall not lie with mankind; it is an abomination, right? It's wickedness. Revelation, and America the Great. This is what America the Great's made up of, man. Revelation chapter seventeen, verse four. Revelation chapter seventeen, verse verse three, and this is a vision of John the Revelator, right? So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Right, that's America. The woman is America the Great, Babylon the Great. The scarlet, the scarlet colored beast is, 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 is Esau's kingdom. Right? The right the birth from Rome. The scarlet colored beast is Esau Edom, the beast. EU and the NATO, America the Great. Full of names of blasphemy, right? And that's all America the Great has done is blaspheme against the Mosai Yahweh Bashim Shai. Having seven heads and ten hordes. Right, the seven heads is the seven kingdoms of Esau. Uh, Germain or Major, Germain or Major. Salat, Germain or Major, Germain or Minor. Uh, 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 the, the British, uh, the Spanish, the French, the Greek. I'm missing one. And the Romans, right? And Rome, having seven heads and ten horns. And the ten horns is NATO and the EU. Right? And the woman was arrayed in purple. The woman that sat upon the beast. America the Great. Babylon the Great. And scarlet color. And decked with gold and precious stones. Right? That's their, that's, their, that's their wealth. And pearls having a golden cup. And here's the point. In her hand full of abominations. Right? In her hand full of wickedness. Full of disgusting things. And filthiness of her fornication. Right? Idol worship. Other doctrines. Her democracy. Her filth. Her fornication. Right? That's America the Great, Babylon the Great. But the judgment. Close out. Isaiah 13, verse 19. And it reads And Babylon, right? America the Great. Spiritual Edom, spirit, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. Revelation 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. That great city is America the Great. Those dead bodies is 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 is, is spiritually dead Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. The so-called indigenous, the so-called Latino, the so-called Negro. 
which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, America the Great is spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right, they cancel out the face of Yahweh Shai and put their image up instead. They cancel, out, they cancel out our Lord, our Savior, the Redeemer of Israel, and put their image up instead. Right? Back to Isaiah 13. Closing out. Verse 19. Edify the sheep, feed the sheep, you see me. And Babylon, right, America the Great, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, the glory of kingdoms, right, the pinnacle, the benchmark, the land, the land, what is it? What is it they say? <laughs> Streets paved with gold. The land that flowed with the milk and honey, right, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, right, the beauty of the Edomites' excellency, shall be as when Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, and how did the Mosai throw, throw down Sodom and Gomorrah? With fire and brimstone, man. Right? When that sky crack and Yahweh Shai come back with his, with his holy angels, his mighty angels, this place is done, it's through, man. I pray you're edified. Adawan Ratazah. Kwam Yashavala. Wa Abad. Babal!